don't know if y'all can see that, but I've uh, garnished an entourage on this evening. I think the cows think I'm going to feed them. That ain't the case. I'm here to feed fish. That's it. Come on. Go, 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 go. I got nothing for you. I got nothing for you. Come on, y'all. Go. Go on, hit. That's 0 for 3. Now they're just following me. I don't think they get it. I'm not the farmer, man. <laughs> what a bunch of goofball cows. You know it's a rough session when even the cows are starting to go home. We're having some trouble getting on some brown trout. They're being wily as the day is long. Oof. If you've made it to this point in the video, it's been a grinder grind. We hit the main section to no avail, nothing but mishook sets and a gang of angry cows. So we were walking by this nice feeder stream on our way in and I thought, oh, you know what? That could be a plan B and so far it is a plan B. B for brown trout. Let's get a look at this guy. I'll tell you what folks, we've had to work hard for this little fish, but it is so worth it. What an absolutely gorgeous, Metal muncher, oh my gosh. Well, he just flopped out. <laughs> Dang it. Ah. Uh, well, you got a little look at him there. So beautiful. I tell you, it's been very strange weather-wise and bite-wise. We're getting short strikes on our dries and nothing too much on our nymph. That was our first really good hit on the nymph itself. There's a couple more runs just like this one. I might keep moving on up in this run. We haven't hit the juice juice yet, so fingers crossed we can get one. But I tell you, it has been, it has been rough. It's been a grind, <laughs> but I love it. Beautiful driftless evening nonetheless. So let's get back up in there. The dinner bell's finally starting to ring. A little bit later than normal, just after 6.30, and we're just now getting into our first two fish. Check him out, though. That is a that is a meadow muncher. Really sparse on the coloration there. Oh, gosh, but that is that is so beautiful, man. That gets me so jacked. That's, that's what we want, a little dry fly action on this quiet driftless evening, man. Ooh, ooh, shake it out, shake it out. We're getting our groove back, slowly but surely. We've got a couple, couple more nice runs as we go up, and I'm thinking, fingers crossed, as that sun goes down, those little brownie browns are gonna be getting more hungry. 
I got some, I got some fresh finds for him, some good food. By no means is this a traditional BWO. However, it does look like a mayfly, just in its presentation, so it gets the job done, at least for now. I've got that under a actual BWO, so hopefully we can get them on both, but right now, that bottom one is our, is our top producer at a grand total of one. <laughs> would be willing to argue that is right where you want it that is fantastic man that is one beautiful trout I know I got a tendency to geek out over these little guys but you can't tell me that's not a gorgeous fish just a little meadow munching monster doing his thing getting ready for that summer bite I love it I love it I love it let me get back to the drink buddy let's go After that, you know what we gotta do. A little shake and bake time. We're gonna double dip this one. It needs it. I think this entire session could be summarized as a failure in time management. <laughs> My stubborn ass was staying on that mainstream no matter what. We had a few bites here and there, but nothing consistent. I thought it was gonna go a lot different, gonna be honest. I thought there was gonna be BWOs flying around in the wake of this rainy driftless weekend and there was gonna be hammer time on all the big old brown trout in this meadow pasture section that never get hit. And I had to cover the clouds, a little bit of cover the rain, and show up, not the case. Regardless, this feeder stream was a beautiful plan B, and we took advantage of it. Those three little browns that we did get on were dimey dime, gorgeous little guys, and it made the drive worth it. I mean, what else am I gonna be doing on this lazy Sunday? Doing homework, edits, sitting inside doing chores? No way, I'm getting out on the Driftless Spring. There's not a whole lot better, and if you can see these hillsides, it is about to pop. The fuse is at its end and we are gonna be basked in the beauty of a vibrant green spring. And I cannot wait for that. Folks, thank you so much for sticking with. I know this was kind of a, kind of a grinder session, mixed with a little bit of cow conundrums, but we made it happen, we made it out, and I couldn't be more happy with how it all ended up. So thank you again for sticking with. And all you OG subs, all you Instagram commenters, you Discord users, y'all, are the best. I love hearing you guys helping each other out, you know, fly suggestions, helping out with locations, and all the stuff about the rod and reel setups. That is what it's all about. People helping people, and I love to see it. So keep it up. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, so folks, whenever you're making your way to the Driftless region, make sure to have a plan B. <laughs> Use your time wisely. Keep those feet in the water. Until next time, tight lines. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Hope you enjoyed this last video, and if you did, and you're looking for a little bit more fly out season content, come join us over at our Discord. I've linked it down below. It's a great way to not only engage with the community, but also to share your fishy experiences. Give a little fishy knowledge, take a little fishy knowledge. There's folks from all over the United States putting in their two cents, talking shop, so we hope to see you over there soon. And wherever your adventures take you, I sure hope you're keeping your feet in the water. Until next time, folks. Tight lines.